Hi guys, I'm Helen and I'm here to help you all reformat your notes for taking organic chemistry. And this video, I'm just really going to tell you all how um, I structure my notes for my exams because the notes I take for my quizzes and book notes and just during discussion are not the same notes that I take for my exams. Uh-uh, not at all. And you will see that the notes that I have are very brief because leading up to the exam, I already read the chapter, so I have a gist of the information. All I need is just a little review, and that's all you need. You just need concise, quick notes for when you head into that exam. And another thing is, before you study for an exam, or just any subject really, or a quiz, or whatever it may be, you need to have a positive attitude, because if you have a negative attitude, then that's gonna block the way that you absorb the information that you're taking in and another thing is that organic chemistry is not an easy thing which is why I'm making this video because I don't want people to struggle unnecessarily I mean not that there is a time where it is necessary to struggle for organic chemistry because there shouldn't be you know just because a subject is hard doesn't mean that you need to follow that route you there's milk I'm not saying this. Let me stop exaggerating. Ugh. There's plenty of resources out there that can help you all um, ease your pathway and to study organic chemistry. And this video is one of them. So if you're watching this, kudos. And send this to someone else also who may need help with um, studying for organic chemistry. And comment down below if you know any um, mnemonic devices or any tips on formatting your notes or just any extra information about organic chemistry that you may know of that can help me or someone else because I'm also taking orgo lab next semester and I'm gonna stop yabbering and let's get on with this video see you soon so right here I have two different ch sets of chapters and it's just to show you all what I do for certain chapters that emphasize certain things that others do not. Like in this particular chapter, there were graphs in there. So I drew graphs, but in this one, there really weren't any graphs that I had to draw. So let me just see how I did that. And right here at the top, you see that I labeled the chap labeled my notes with the day, the chapter, and what I'm doing in particular for these notes. Like, I'm just making a guidebook for the mechanisms. And then to the right of that, I write the page number. I always prefer to write the page number on each page in the upper right-hand corner. I don't know why, but for this page, I did in the upper left-hand corner. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. But it throws me... Little things just throw me off when I'm taking my notes because I prefer my notes to be... Not perfect, but ideal for me when I study. But on this side, I wrote in an upper right-hand corner as well. And then below the subchapter, this chapter um, in particular was about radicals. And the first chapter was radicals. But then for the subchapter, I mean, for the subtitle below in my notes, I just write what I'm doing in that particular chapter just like the gist of it so if I'm rumbling well just like you know just going through my notes and I'm just in particular trying to look for the trying to look for how to find stability in radicals then I'm like hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, 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 right here stability that's where I go for my notes and as you can see in pencil you can use pen also, but I just prefer to use pencil in case if I make a mistake and I need to go back and erase it at that moment or in the future. I use pencil to write down my descriptions. You can use bullet points or arrows or numbers or you can use Roman numerals for making just um, key detail. Not key detail, but just like making details about that particular chapter. And as you can see, I label my titles with Roman numerals. I just do that because to me, Roman numerals are 
like a strong emphasis on a title, like when you're labeling a title. title. That's just something I grew up um, being taught. And below some of my descriptions, you can see that I use green. I use green to make key details about particular, about specific point. So right here, I'm saying that this particular molecule requires more, has more energy than this molecule. So that's what I use to like, so it stand out to me if I'm looking at this particular section. And I also use pink to m just make side notes about anything really. It don't have to be the key details that I use for the green. It could be, I'm trying to see, did I do it over here? No, I didn't do it for these particular notes. But sometimes I may write pink um, side notes along some of my pencil or pen descriptions. And as you can see right here, I use it to label my examples. I don't use pen to write my examples because that's where I mess, up, I mess up the most. If I do write my descriptions in pen, I would not write my examples in pen. I just use pencil. And for these notes right here, I use orange to... Uh, to just like highlight a specific thing that I'm talking about. So green I use to just like, you know, to label certain things, but also use orange or you can use whatever color you want. That orange, so you know, is a highlighter. It's not pen, it's just a highlighter. Cause I feel as though highlighters, they're stronger than pens. So if I use a light color on top of a dark color, it's not really gonna show with the pen, but it'll show with the highlight. And I also try to maintain using the same color highlighter for a particular subject when, when I say subject, I mean course, for a particular course. Like for, sometimes I do use pink when I'm taking notes for chemistry but that's really just during class time or just if I'm taking regular book notes but if I'm making something like this I like to use different I use a different color so I'm more engaged I don't know really how it happens but it just it draws me in more when I use a different color because I'm not used to it so I'm more focused on it and I just use this orange color and I was going to critique this blue sharpie because in the beginning it was extremely dark so it just and one last thing i will say that when you're stapling your notes it's best to staple on the corner and when i say the corner i do not mean horizontal i mean diagonally diagonally is that a word can i comment down below and tell me if that's a word or not but when i staple i prefer to staple I don't know why I stopped doing that, but I used to do it all the time my first semester in college. Diagonally, this is what I meant. But also closer to the edge, so like right here. So when you do turn your page, it's not going to be as harsh. Like you don't, it'll be easier for when you turn your page. And that's it. I'll see you all, well, speak to you all, and see you all in a couple of seconds. Bye. Hey, guys. So, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. It really means a lot because I'm just here to help you all. Or, if, yeah, you all don't have to use any of the project, projects, products, no. You don't have to use any of the utensils that I necessarily use. Use what works for you. If it feels good when you write with it, then A+. Plus. But if it doesn't, then just give it to someone else or drop it on the floor. <laughs> but what I use, I got all my stuff from Target or I just get it from Walmart or Walgreens or whatever, whatever is around me at the time. I just usually grab it from there. But I pretty much got, I, use, I just pretty much use Enjoy products, Sharpie. Yeah, this pencil is Enjoy also. I really like it because it has like the soft grips and it's just really convenient. I just like mechanical pencils a lot. And um, 
These came from Target. They're by BIC. Two for three dollars and twenty four cents. Um, it was it was a little expensive for me because I really don't buy white out, and I'm always I'm always used to seeing white out for one dollar. So yeah. But thanks for sticking around to the end. And one more thing. I want to know if you all know what this molecule is. Comment down below if you do. I'm just gonna. Don't forget this methyl group that's attached. Bye. Well, actually, it's ethyl. Ooh.